Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and this video I'm going to show you how you can slow down your game very fast with just some line of codes. So let's say you have a game that you already create a lot of things in it, create a lot of mechanism in it and you want to slow it for a power up or something and you want to do it fast and you don't want to change your code. How we can do it? Let's find out. For that, let's just create a new project. Let's call it a slow down. Now I'm gonna show you the fastest way that you can do that. If you, now let's just open a game from my library that I always use. This is the basic platform game example. And I wanna add it as a, another project. So let's import and save it. And if we run it, you can see that it, this game is fast and just playing that without any slowdown power up, it's too hard to do. So you can see I fail every time. So let's just close it and find out a way to do that. To add that uh, a slowdown game power up to our player. You see, if I go to OS player in here, there is a way to do that in here. You can change the, let's say, image speed to half and let's say vertical speed to half and uh, all of that you can do that you can change your code in here but i don't want to change any code for this game instead i want to just create another and do everything in that so i will call this obg slow down i don't want to change any code in all of these projects so i want to go here let's create add a create event and say create a variable call it slow down and equal it false for the start and let's say in the click event most global left press event in here i want to change that slow down variable to not of itself so first time that first time that this game will be run the slowdown will be false the when they left click the slowdown will be true and again if they left press again it will be false again and so on so that's what this line is doing next i want to say if slow down if we want to slow down our game do this and else do this so what i want to do in here i want to change the room speed so i can say room speed is equal to room speed room speed divided by three so that's how you can slow down your game by changing the fps so now that we have this let's just go to our room and add this obg slowdown to our game now let's just run it and you can see the game is fast but when i left press, left press anywhere it will slow down our game and now let's just add a back to default speed how we can do that let's just create a variable here and call it default room speed and let's equal it with initialized uh, start room speed so at the first room speed is 60 and we will store that in default room speed and after they click left press once again we want to change the room speed to our default room speed so now let's just run it and you can see it's fast and when you click on the anywhere in your game the game will be slowed down and you can see it here and now we can win this game so you can use this as a power up for your player uh, sometimes your game is too fast to win that's one way to do it but there is other way to do that so let's just say we want to change the speed of this OS spinner okay so in here let's add an event in here to a step event and in here i want to say if obg slow down dot slow down is true if if we should slow the game down let's just change the image speed 
image speed equal image speed divided by three for example so we're doing this when doing it this way we won't need to change the room speed and fps so you can see we change the image speed of this o spinner but the problem is that this step will run again and again and again and it this image speed will be at zero in no time so what we should do we should add a create event in here and let's create a variable did we slow down our spinner okay so let's just say at the first it's false and in here did in here let's just put true in it and in the if statement we should change this as well we should check if we did change the speed don't do it again so with this if we didn't change it change it but if we change it don't change it again so let's run it and you can see the spinner uh, rotating fast and if we click on our game the spinner will uh, slow down and you can do this for all the objects that you have like player like um no, whatever in your game that have animation so for player you can do this as well but it's not just about image speed you should change vertical speed you should change the gravity force you should change jumping speed you should change everything and you can see in create there is a lot of four uh, speeds in here moving speed climbing speed vertical speed graphic gravity force and jumping speed you should change all of that and you can do it but it takes some time to do that uh, in this case if you want to do it like this changing the fps of your room or your room speed it's make it e easier to do that and it's faster i think so you can decide what you want to do this way you can do it very fast and simple and the way that i done it with this os spinner in here it's okay to and um, you can do it but it take more time than that please if you have a better idea to uh, slow down your game please leave it in comments so everybody know what is other method to uh, slow down or game thank you very much for watching if you want to help me please hit that subscribe and like button thank you very much for watching bye